جو حضرات باہر بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں کرسیوں پر میں ان سے آج کروں گا کہ وہ یہاں اندر آ کر بیٹھے اور جو لوگ پیر پھیلا کر بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں بے ادبانہ طریقے سے بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں میں ان سے کہوں گا کہ نہایت عرب کے ساتھ بیٹھے یہ دربار ہے جناب رسول اکرم صلی اللہ تعالیٰ وسلم کا اٹ از ناٹ این آرڈینری میٹنگ یو شوڈ سٹ وتھ کمپلیٹ مینرس آبزرو مینرس اینڈ سٹ وتھ مینرس آل دوز ہو آر اسٹینڈنگ آؤٹ سائڈ دے شوڈ کم ان سائڈ اینڈ سٹ ڈاؤن ہماری آج کی یہ نشست گزشتہ صدی کے مبلغ اعظم حضرت شاہ عبد العلیم صدیقی میرٹھی رحمۃ اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ کی یاد میں انعقاد پذیر ہے اور ہماری آج کی اس نشست کا عنوان لائف اینڈ تھاٹ آف مولانا عبد العلیم صدیقی رحمۃ اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ ہے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ریکویسٹ اے ویری آنریبل گیسٹ ڈاکٹر ابو الفضل محسن ابراہیم He is Honorary Consul at Consulate of Seychelles in Durban, South Africa. He belongs to uh, Seychelles, but he lives in Durban, South Africa. And he is a scholar of Islamic bioethics and emeritus professor of Islamic studies in the School of Religion and Theology at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. And he is a senior professor and researcher at the Region Business School in Durban, South Africa and the Academic Research Director of the International Institute of Islamic Thought. So, uh, Dr. Mohsen, I request you humbly to turn on your mic, please, so that we can hear you and we can uh, listen to your melodious voice. First of all, let me begin by thanking Dr. Siddiqui for having Uh, you know, uh, bring the legacy of Mulan Abdurrahim Siddiqui, you know, preserving the legacy, you know, his thoughts and so on. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, but before I go further, let me acknowledge, um, you know, to see my elder brother, Mulan Wafi Muhammad, or Dr. Wafi Muhammad, you know, whom I've seen now live after so many years, you know, after we left Amili- uh, Alimiya, we have never met again. So I thank Allah that we, I'm able to see him and I hope I'll be able to see our brothers Ahmad Siddiq Nasir also. Now what I want to say is my connection, how I came into contact with, um, with Molana, uh, with the Alimi Institute of Islamic Studies. That is what I have to actually share with you. Um, I, uh, as it was mentioned, I come from Seychelles. It's a small island. It has about, until now, it's less than, it's, um, the population is very little. You won't believe. It's less than one million people, you know. Um, but then, uh, it's only now that we have a university. We never had universities. But my contact with the Alimi Institute of Islamic Studies came through the, we had this, what is known as BI, that uh, the steamer that went from, from India uh, to, to, to Seychelles and then come to Mombasa and down to, to South Africa. And they used to bring some publications from South Africa. And there is where I learned about Mulan Abdul Alim Siddiqui. He had visited, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali, he has visited South Africa many years. You know, always he was very loved in South Africa. And then, and through that, publication I came to know about Alimi Institute of Islamic Studies and then when it was about time for me to complete my metric and I wanted to decide where should we go since I come from India originally from uh, Baruch in India that is where the, my great-grandfather migrated actually my great-grandfather is the one who went to Seychelles and settled as a businessman But I had no interest at all in business. I never wanted to do business. I wanted to study Islam because there was no Islam in Seychelles. There was no masjid at all at that time. Yeah. So I thought that I should study Islam. And then I, I was against going to India. 
I told my grandfather that I don't want to go to India because I want to align myself to Muslims and I would like to go to Pakistan. And luckily, at that time, when I was almost completing my metric, there was a Pakistan Navy that came and the commander came to my grandfather, hosted him, and then he introduced him to me and said that he wants to study Islam. And he asked where, he says in Karachi, not Nazimabad, he says he knows Molana, Fadur Rahman, Sari Rahmanullah So then uh, this is how everything happened. So when I landed in, uh, in Karachi, uh, the port, the commander came to get me and Mona Ansari was surprised that, you know, that the commander brought me to his home to meet him. You know, he was thinking what, uh, you know, he was uh, surprised that this happened. But then, Alhamdulillah, this is how I came into contact with Mona Fadrahman Ansari. And, and of course, through him, we learned about, you know, the greatness, the, this great spiritual personality, Mona Abdullah Him Siddiqui, Rahmatullahi Talalai. And until now in South Africa, there's lot, lot, lots of love for him, uh, for, for this personality. So what I want to say is that, you know, it was just through Takdir that I landed in, in uh, Karachi and actually managed to study at Alimiya Institute of Islamic Studies because there, Mona Fuzz Rahman Ansari, who is the one that had, advise us that we have to study both the secular education and Islamic education. And, and we did that, you know, we had a BA from Karachi University. But then after this was over, I, and I completed my studies at the Institute of Islamic Studies, I told my father, I, I told him that I cannot return home because I have not mastered Arabic. I cannot speak Arabic. I know book, bookish Arabic, but I cannot speak Arabic. I don't consider myself, you know, uh, a student of Islam unless I know Arabic. So I would like to go to Al-Azhar. And then I, I went to Al-Azhar and there was, uh, you know, there was no one who has ever been from Alima Institute to Al-Azhar. And I must here acknowledge uh, Mulan Jafar, uh, his, uh, his uh, contribution, what he did for me, he facilitated it. I went to al Azhar. he said, we don't know that institution. We need the whole syllabus. And therefore, what, what uh, Mona Jafar did, he entrusted um, Mona Bukhari. And again, may Allah, uh, be, uh, I mean, Rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi, he translated the whole syllabus of the five years into Arabic, and I presented there, and like Deoban, you know, that you know, where, where everyone thinks about Deoban, you know, it's recognized all over, and then, but when they get the the Ijaza from Deoban, they become a Molana from there, they have to enroll in third year undergraduate studies university, so third and fourth year, is the year of Tahassus, and uh, luckily, they recognize Alimiya Institute of Islamic Studies also at the same level that when any student from there will be will come to be enrolled at Alimiya at uh, Al Azhar University, they will be enrolled in the third year Tahassus. And this is where you have to choose whether law or you want to go into law or you want to go into Dawah or Tafsir or Hadith and so on. And and unfortunately, I wanted to do law. But unfortunately, what happened is that uh, the Indian students that were there, they told me it's very tough, you know, if you want to finish quickly of two years, then you do the dawah. What's the Kafatil Islami? It'd be easier for you. Anyway, I did that. But luckily, we had all everything in there. We had a little bit of all, you know, of, uh, of law and tafsir and hadith and so on. So I don't regret that. And... Um, I, I urge the people, I mean, the students, my fellow students at Alimiya, that please come over, just do two years at al -Azhar when you qualify, but, but only one person, one uh, brother from there uh, followed me, and uh, he he's from the, now his name I forgot now, after so long, but uh, he's uh, from, Suri, from Suriname, yeah, uh, no, from Guyana, from Guyana, where our brother, Ahmed Siddiq Nasser is, he is uh, 
he's the only one who followed me and he, he completed there also and he went back to 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 Guyana and he served some, some time in in, uh, in America as an imam and so on. So what I want to say is that I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I came into contact with Mona Fazl Rahman Ansari and then uh, Rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi and then uh, I was able to further my studies and not only remain with a BA which actually did masters and PhD in America and I thank Allah that I chose a field which is um, Islamic bioethics and until today I'm writing in that field and I've traveled by the grace of Allah to many parts of the world delivering lectures in Islamic bioethics. So shukran jazilan for this initiative Dr. Siddiqui. I think you are keeping the legacy of both Mulana Fazul Rahman Sari and Mulana Abdul Amsiriki alive and we thank you and may Allah bless you and bless your efforts in his cause. I mean, Rahman. Shukran. Jazakallah, our honorable guest, one of the students of Mulana Fazul Rahman Al Ansari, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, Dr. Abul Fazl Mohsen Ibrahim from Durban, South Africa, joined us from South Africa and shared his valuable thoughts with us. Mm -hmm.